DeepSeek is quickly becoming one of the most popular open source AI models out there, even rivaling GPT-4. It's credited with a $500 billion loss in NVIDIA's market share value, but in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run your own DeepSeek AI model locally for free on your machine. Let's get started. In this video, I'll show you how to install Olama to run DeepSeek locally, then set up Chatbox AI so you can chat with it just like you would chat GPT right on your own computer. First, we're going to use Olama. Olama allows you to run language models locally on your machine. As you can see right here, Llama, DeepSeek are some of the models. You come to the model section, uh, DeepSeek R1, 2.6 million pools, and several other language models that we'll be using. I'll leave a link in the description, so let's get this downloaded. Once you start the installation, we'll get this pop-up. We'll hit next, install, put in my password. Once you get to the end, it will tell you to run your first model. It's prompting us to use Llama Run Llama 3.2. But in this video, we're going to be running DeepSeek R1. So let's get that link. All right, now we're back on Olama's page. Uh, let's go back to the models. And we can see DeepSeek. And here's the Olama Run DeepSeek R1. But before we do that, we want to look at these tags. Right, and there's a bunch of different tags. There's a bunch of different sizes. Uh, the default one is the 7B. 7B is 4.7 gigabytes. And uh, as you can look, as you open up the drop down, there's different options. Uh, the 1.5B, the 7, all the way up to the 671B, 404 gigabytes that would not run on my machine. So just to start this off, to demo it out, I'm going to do this 1.5. And you can see that this command here is now updated. So I'm gonna copy this, open up a terminal, and paste it in there. All right, so I have a terminal open. I'm gonna start off with Olama flag V. And it's gonna give me a version. And I'm doing this just to confirm that Olama installed successfully. So now I'm gonna go ahead and paste in that Olama run DeepSeek R1 1.5B the 1.1 gigabyte version. Hit enter, and we can watch it do the pull. All right, so depending on your machine, uh, that went pretty quickly on mine. I think it was a minute, two minutes at most. And now you can see that it gives us the command to enter a message. So let's say, hello, let's see what we get back. All right, so this is great. We now have this DeepSeek running on our machine, but let's see if we could get a better UI for this. All right, so for our UI or user interface, we're gonna use Chatbox AI. Uh, it's a free download, works for Mac, works for Windows. It allows you to connect to your AI models that are running locally uh, so that you can have a nice interface as you can see here in the video. So let's uh, go ahead and download that. Hit download, I have an M2 Apple Silicone, I believe. All right, I have that downloaded. And now let's open up Chatbox. All right, so let's see, it's loaded up locally. All right, let's see, Chatbox is open. It is asking if I want to connect to AI Cloud. Um, or use my own API or local model. And we have a local model. So we're going to hit the second option, local model. It's giving us the configuration. So we're using Olama API. And the host is our local host. And that is port 11434. And it can see what I have installed. So I have the uh, DeepSeek R1 latest, which is the 7, and then the R1 1.5B, which we installed for this demo. Uh, we'll do the 1.5B. And we'll hit next. We'll hit save. 
All right, so I opened up chat box. I expanded the screen. Uh, have a new chat started. You can see down here it's connected to the DeepSeek R1. I, I can actually switch it to the 7 that I have open, but I'm going to leave it with the 1.5B. And I'm just going to say hello. Tell me about yourself. And it's working. So you can actually see it's actually... It's starting with its thought process. So it's going to configure its thought process. And then it's going to build its response. So this is great. I'm running all of this locally. Uh, I don't have to worry about my data being get. Uh, I don't have to worry about data being sent out. All right. So to recap, we've downloaded Olama. We use that to download and run a DeepSeq R1 model. And then we downloaded Chatbox AI. And we use that to connect to that running model on our local machine. So both of these are running locally. The Chatbox AI, the Olama running the DeepSeq R1 1.5B, the smallest version. I'm probably going to try a couple more higher versions to see what I can run on my Mac. Uh, I have an M3 uh, Mac Air with I believe 16 gigs of RAM. So I'm gonna see what the best model is I can get out of this without overloading the device. But if you found this helpful, uh, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like, give me a subscribe, follow along for more uh, videos that will come out. Also, if you have any questions, run into any issues or errors, uh, leave me a comment and I will get back to you, maybe make a follow along video to help you out. All right, till next time.